Spirit manifested. This woman will keep coming after you. It's your job to stay no and to separate yourself, to keep your house and your home and your family clean. As a father, you are the priest of your home and of your children. And you can let demon spirits in by weakness of the flesh. No home is perfect, no family is perfect. But the Lord is saying the other way is not better. It's only death. The grass that seems greener on the other side is only death. And God said, 
He has not fully restored your health as yet, mentally and physically, until you have fully separated yourself from the evil that is after you. That woman that Satan is sending after you to destroy your home and your family. God is not speaking to condemn you. Neither was he speaking to anyone last night to condemn. But Jesus said he didn't come to condemn but to save. And he exposes the darkness and the evil for what it is. To destroy the works of the devil. So this is not unto your shame but unto your glory. That your home and your family will be kept. As you see, your son was attacked. Even your wife was attacked because there's necromancy being done. There are people that don't like to see family together, home together. They don't like to see marriage strive. And they will send sickness and they will send financial distress. But you being the priest of your home, stand strong in the faith and the word of God. And you will see deliverance. You will see the increase. Even the incident that happened unto you and got you in trouble with the Lord the other day was not natural, but supernatural. It's a, a spirit that, that, that have you angry and tormented and unsatisfied. It, it, it doesn't want you to have peace. And the Lord said, this spirit will not leave you only by the laying of hands. It's the same spirit that got you sick. It will leave you by the obedience of his word. The Lord said, as you obey the word, as you obey the word, the Lord said, breakthrough will come. Breakthrough will come. Increase will come. The Lord said, don't go back. Keep going forward. The Lord said, they will keep calling you to go back. They will keep calling you to come back. The Lord said, do not go back, go forward. Behold the Lamb of God. The Lord has raised me from death, but the Lord has showed me the issues with your kidneys. It's the unseen. It's what the Lord is showing you. What you cannot see, what doctors can tell you. That God has already begun to heal the Lord. We pray on that. But there are issues with your kidneys. And don't you feel pain in your stomach and you can get gas. It's your kidneys. And that's what God wants to heal you from tonight. The lungs are not going to be your one of the teeth you see unseen. When you feel pain, so can you hear? When you think it's gas, for some gas, it's kidneys. You know, you people think anything from pain here is gas, it's like gas, you don't need some of tea and drink it for this gas. I want to heal you tonight from that. How often do you feel this pain in this country? I want every seven days.
the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And also is that because of the, the infection the lungs, the heart is on the street. But the Lord said he have kept you for a reason and with a testimony. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Who hands? The Lord said in, in a, a few weeks, a loved one is going to call you with a problem. The Lord said when they call, feed them the word. Tell them what the word say about the situation. Because the Lord one and loved one have totally sold out to him. Because there are influences around that loved one that is misleading. And misdirecting. The Lord said, This time is coming where they will honor and value what you have to say. Keep giving them the word that they will be saved. Because the life of the, the environment of this is contrary to the nature of God. The Lord said, You have seen your prayers consoling them. And there's going to be a move of his hands when that situation happens to draw them closer home to him. Behold the Lamb of God. Of your jubilee. Last year was hard for you financially, job wise and problems. But this is the year of restoration for you. Say that I've stolen so many things to you. The Lord said this is the year it's going to be stopping unto you. But the pamper won't, but the caterpillars, but the mud, but the locus has eaten. The Lord said he is going to restore it unto you. But he is a restorer. This is your season, this is your time. The Lord said press forward in his world. And he's going to restore. The blessing is at hand. The door is opening unto you. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord wants me to reassure you that don't worry about your wife pressure. It's going to stabilize and she's going to come out of the hospital very soon. The Lord said, the people that have done witchcraft against you to have you sick all these months. When this don't work, they will try to let you lose your job, set you up. And if you have been harassing them, that's what they're going to try to do. And the Lord said, from now on, stay under the anointing. And he will fight to you in that job and promote you and give you favor. But the Lord is warning you, for to be forewarned, is the before arm that they would shut you up in that job already. You have already seen the effects of the prayer of the ministry. You have already started to recover of your illness. The doctors couldn't find what was the cause of that virus in your body. The Lord has already recovered you. You're almost there. But the Lord has warned you of what is to come. Behold the Lamb of God. The hands of the God of the Lord. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Power of the Holy Ghost. Mighty name of Jesus Christ. 
Everything shall be eaten in her dream, set her by the tables of her enemies. By the work of witches and wizards and warlocks, every diabolical power, loose her and come out. Holy Ghost, fire in the name of Jesus Christ. The fire of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ. By the blood of Jesus Christ. Your hunger is state of depression. They said the Lord told me the pearl of your hunger and depression caused by a demon spirit as a woman sending these things against you. And the woman is sending these things against you because of a man. And uh, she doesn't want you to be around that person, talking to that person, with that person. And uh, she wants to get you sick and have you feel powerless that you can't do nothing. That you won't be able to pay your bills. To have you warm in at the end of every month. How to pay these bills, how to do this, how to do that. To have you frustrated to bring anxiety. To have your heart racing, to make you feel like something is wrong with your heart. And this is the enemy I can see. And times when you when you sleep, sometimes it, there's a spirit that comes in your dream, like in the form of a man. It attacks in your dream, like it wants to sleep with you in your dream. This is the evil that is after you. Who the Son has set free is free indeed. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost fire in our womb, in our blood, in our fluid. Let our rebel seek a rabba mama shiko to rumosa. When it's written upon this rock, I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against the church of Jesus Christ. Come out and be free. Jesus mighty name. Jesus mighty name. My faith. Take your hands and begin to thank the Lord for As He is moving and that you will receive Him, that you will meditate upon Him. Leave it and I will meditate upon His law day and night. So the Lord has seen your suffering. And you started something, you started that, that foundation and that stands still. And it got moving and those who promise things, the promise not come to pass. And uh, the Lord is saying the season of blessing is coming for you to, to go forward and do more and to accomplish and finish. The Lord said you have suffered enough. And the daughter who sit in her bound, God will deliver. The Lord said, You have seen the, the patience of your faith. The deep bondage that you can have put your family under. And instead, people will watch and help, they will watch and scorn. But the Lord said, His eyes are upon you. The Lord said, fear not. The Lord said, before you sleep, you will accomplish that home that you will be comfortable in. And you will see them around you safe. Then who are marijuana and alcohol? Who sit and is stealing and abusing? The Lord said, you will deliver them. He will deliver them. Mighty name of Jesus Christ. A spirit that attacks you in the night. A spirit that takes the form of a man and comes into your feet. And sometimes it takes the form of an animal as well.
I 
see what is in darkness shall be brought to light. What is in darkness shall be brought to light. I shall not kill you in your belly. I shall not kill you in your belly. See what is in darkness shall be brought to light. That, that, that only goes for the demon spirit that is confessing as he's leaving this child of God. Amen, somebody. It goes for our sins, our secret sins. When the prophetic begins to operate, God is going to be, you can correct you and expose you. Some people will get up and run. Why? Because they didn't want the sin to be exposed. Because Jesus did bring grace, you know, he bring truth. <laughs> Many people want grace, we want favor, but we don't, we don't want to walk in truth. Tell the neighbor, say, Jesus brought grace and truth. Jesus has, brought Jesus has brought grace, grace and truth. But when the Son of God has set you free, you are free indeed. Say, I am the temple of the Holy Ghost. Not of sickness, not of disease, not of poverty, not of bondage, not of darkness. But of light, the light of life. I belong to Jesus. I am free. I am free. Begin to confess your freedom. You confess your freedom in the name of Jesus. I confess your freedom. Confess your freedom in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever bondage is over your life, whatever vice, whatever curse, whether it be drinking, gambling, smoking, whatever sin of bitterness, unforgiveness, of adultery, of witchcraft, of sorcery. Of me from my sake, whatever does not belong in your life, and it's not of God commanded out. There's no one that commanded out everything that is not of God in your life. Command it out in the name of Jesus. 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 Out of your blood. Believe the word. 
then I'll tell you better than I'm different by what you know and what you believe. If I believe that God has given me strength to overcome whatever temptation, I believe that I'm going to call upon him in a time of trouble and he will show unto me great and mighty things that you know of. I am able to call and see it happen. I am able to call and see evidence. Amen. 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 Let's, let's get into the wood for a few moments tonight. Sister, rise up. You are free in Jesus' name.
and who is this woman to you? Jesus. You demon spirit, who is this woman to you? Jesus. Who is she to you? Mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mighty name of Jesus Christ. Who is this woman to you? Right now, the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mighty name of Jesus Christ. Speak out. Who is this woman to you? Nobody. Jesus. He is nobody. Who is this woman to you? Jesus, be free. Rise up, you're free. Jesus, give us a break.